Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here again with Marty Music. Hope you guys are doing well, and thanks for hanging out for a lesson. We're going to do some reggae stuff. Bob Marley, Could You Be Loved. I'm going to show you the chords, which are really nice, and also some reggae rhythm ideas. So let's get to it. Uh, real quick, too, I appreciate you supporting my own project, Marty Music. Uh, that first comment down there, you can sign the newsletter for some free courses, and I really appreciate that extra help. So uh, thank you. Let's go. All right, so all the chords and licks from the song all come from the key of D major. The relative minor is B minor, so it's got a B minor thing going on as well, but it's all part of the same uh, group of chords of a key. So we start with a little lick in B minor. Two, 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 four, five, four, two, 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 four, five, four. You got to get palm muting under, underneath your picking hand. I'm feeling it vibrate under my hand. And then we got B minor with some licks. And then we've got the chorus. And let me show you the chords first. It's D major. I'm playing them as bar chords because of that skank that we're going to get from reggae rhythm. But, you know, it's a D chord. Could you be minor? And then a G chord. Then G, D. Could you be minor? G back to D. So it starts and ends on a D chord. So then we need the other section, which goes to that B minor thing. And so it goes like this. So B minor, then E minor. And I'm going to play them right here on the seventh fret. So the E minor shape and the A minor shape, but it's a B minor chord to an E minor chord. So check it out. Now we go to E minor, E minor, back to B minor. E minor. Now B minor again. Now we have this little descending thing, but it's still all the chords of the D major uh, key. So we go G major, and I'm going to play it up here on the 10th fret A shape. Then F sharp minor, which is down a half step with the minor shape. Same shape down to E minor. So from that B minor before that. And the G, F sharp minor, E minor. Now the next one is B minor again. B minor again. Now we go up to that G, G, F sharp minor, but now A major. And it turns around to the chorus. Could you be loved? Could be loved. Da -da -da -da. B minor, then G. D, E, let's go to B minor now, here we go. Da, 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 da. E minor, we're still gonna work on some rhythm here in a second. Oh no. <laughs> All right, keep going. Da, 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 da. Now we're gonna go up to that G. F sharp minor, E minor, back to B minor. 
da, 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 da. Then the G, G, F sharp minor, but to A major. So with the reggae thing, if you're playing it solo, like on an acoustic guitar, or just solo singing it, you're going to want to do a busier rhythm than if you're in an ensemble. If you're like in a four-piece band, uh, the guitar is more for that skank, almost like a drummer. So there's going to be different options going on depending on what you want to do. But the uh, thing with the reggae rhythm is it's the ands of the count. So one and two and, you know, one and two and three and four and. Every time I said and there is when you want a very staccato skank. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. And, and the quicker you cut it off with your cording hand, the more staccato you can get it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You know, a lot of times they play these upper register like the E shape, you know. But if you have a bass line, which is on those downs, not the not the ands. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, see, so one, two, three, four, one, two, Three, four, here's the bass. So those are all on the downs. One, two, three, four, one, two. So then the chord would be the up. So in Im imagining that the downbeat's there and playing it by yourself is a little trickier. But what you can do is get this. Da 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 And then just squeeze on those ands. And, 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 and you can do a little double squeeze like this. And so I'm going like this with the right hand. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. I can do the double or the single. Bump, 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 bump. And I'm only singing, oh, you know, I'm only doing it with my mouth right now, but what I was just doing with my mouth is what I'm going to be doing with the squeezing. So I'm just squeezing down right here to get that sound to ring out really quick and staccato. So if I go through the chords, uh, so it's faster. Could you be love? Now if I think of a bass line, which is on those downs for the chords, dun, 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 D, B, 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 B. G, 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 D, 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 So I'm going to do something like that, and then you'll really be able to hear that reggae feeling by playing the ands. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Oops, wrong chord. Let me do that again. B minor, not G. So D, B minor, and G. One, two, down, and down. D, 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 B, 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 B. B B G G D D G G G D D D D D D D D D D D
All right, there it was. Thanks again, you guys, for watching the lesson. Also, thank you for going to martymusic.com and signing the newsletter. Really appreciate that. Also, you can leave your requests in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you subscribing to this channel. Uh, I think that's enough of requests to you guys for now. Uh, so, hope to see you again. Uh.